Mr Chairman, I move that the question be now put. I have heard from Jacinda Ardern. I'll call Jacinda Ardern. Thank you, Mr Chairman. It's my pleasure to have an opportunity to speak to the um, uh, to speak on the, on the title of, of this bill, the Governor General Bill, and um, I think my, my colleagues have already made some excellent um, points um, around the, the substance of this bill. But I, I wouldn't. Uh, there is much more to be said, which is specific to the title um, debate. And the first point that I wanted to raise is we have gone for a very traditional approach when it's come. Every other element of this bill has been a modernisation of right. parts, except I would have to say the existence of the Governor-General generally, right. um, but also um, the title of this bill, which, which is, uh, I guess, um, taken as a bit of a given that this is really the only, the only thing that we could end up with. But I do want to challenge the government somewhat, and, and that if we were to modernise um, the reference, that probably would be out of step with everything else the government has done in this area generally. We only need to reflect back, for instance, on the debates that we've only recently had under the Lawyers and Conveyances Bill um, around the existence of QCs and Queen's Council. Um, of course, Labor attempted to modernise that system um, within our judiciary by moving to the uh, notion of senior counsel. I think a, an excellent move, one that came after a long round of consultation. But what did the government do? It came in and it moved us back to the notion of a QC. Yeah, and, 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 and which again, this bill, this bill, this bill, again, has lost an opportunity to modernise in that regard. But it does seem that we have a general theme when it comes um, to the notion of um, our constitutional issues, whether it be within the judiciary or whether it be the governance arrangements of, of um, our relationship with the monarch, I really believe that we are missing a beat. And so when it comes to um, the, the title specifically, I am then led to question, why is it that the government has been unwilling uh, to have a wider debate around the role of the Governor-General right. um, in New Zealand. Um, be, and it is a distinct... Or a republic or, uh, <laughs> I, I am getting to, to my, my grand title. I want a little bit of a drum roll, um, right. uh, Trevor. But I wonder then, uh, perhaps because it seems so obvious that the titles, um, for instance, the titular titles, seem to be so that ex-ministers can get titles when they leave their job, perhaps this bill should have been called John Key's ne Next Prospective Job Bill. Perhaps that is what the government is angling for here. We were unwilling, unwilling to have the discussion about the role of the Governor-General in New Zealand, beginning with this bill, because we have ministers and potentially the Prime Minister lining himself up for this job. For this job. In the, in the, and I would not wish to undermine the role of the Governor-General no. by referring to it as simply a smile and wave no, role, no, Grant Robertson. Like but, but I have seen that he is well, well versed in the, in the gesture of the way. But I think also um, this bill specifically has been arranged to try and meet public expectations. It seems that's what the Law Commission's piece of, of work was around. But I feel like in the general principles of this bill, we refuse to meet their expectations around the public debate over the Governor-General. I would have preferred then in that respect if this has been the Governor-General wider constitutional debate bill, that we could start something in New Zealand because we've always heard We've always heard that when it comes to our constitutional arrangements and the existence of the Governor-General, that it will happen in our lifetime, that eventually we'll move away from a, a structure of a Governor-General, the Queen's um, representative in New Zealand. But there seems to be an unwillingness... I should add some caveats that, that it depends on whose lifetime it is, but generally speaking, there is an acknowledgement that that is perhaps where New Zealand is progressing towards. And this would have been the perfect opportunity within this bill to perhaps launch into an additional discussion over the future of New Zealand's constitutional arrangements. Because I don't believe the argument that it's not broke actually, um, actually sits well with New Zealand's current um, situation, with where New Zealand is progressing as a country. In the same way that this very bill, you could have argued, wasn't necessarily broken, but it was out of line with public expectation, which is why the Law Commission did the piece of work that it did. And so I challenge the government that in keeping with the, uh, the notion of this bill, with modernisation, 
that they begin the debate over whether or not we've, this is sufficient simply for us to be here discussing a Governor General Board and discuss in future the constitutional arrangements of New Zealand, be realistic about where we're going as a country. Chairman, Chairman, Chairman. Okay.